can we say purple? Um, this month, I will be bringing awareness to lupus because this is the month of Lupus Awareness Month. And it is something that I suffer with. It's something that people in my family suffer with. So I just feel like um, I should bring some awareness to to it because I suffer with it and many others suffer with it. And I'm not sure if a lot of people really understand what lupus is and how it affects the body and how it affects everyone differently. Like if you only understood. Um, so we'll be bringing light to that this month and I will be doing some looks and we'll be having some discussions and if it's any questions y'all have, I will answer them to the best of my ability. But yes, I will be bringing awareness to lupus and not only lupus, but mental awareness month is this month as well. So, um, it kind of all go hand in hand to me, so... We'll just be sitting, talking about it, and doing some glam, doing some creative makeup. So if you would like to join me, come on, take a seat, engage, talk to me. I'm here, and yeah, let's get to it. precisely my brow by benefit cosmetics and this is in the number five this is my favorite i use them all the time um but i also wanted to start this conversation off by first speaking a little bit about me and my situation and how i suffer with lupus but First, let me do these brows, y'all. <laughs> I'll be right back. As I was saying, I want to start off by telling my story um, and how I found out I had lupus. Um, first of all, my mother and my sister suffered with lupus. My sister is no longer with us, but um, she suffered with lupus and my mom suffers with lupus. And I did not think that you know I thought I was the one that got away so I was like mm, you know I'm not gonna have to suffer with that so um I started working and when I started working at um Walgreens as a minute a uh, ship lead mm, um I began to notice a difference in my body and how my joints was and how I felt and I just kind of chalked it up to oh I'm working too much right that was far from the case. Um, it just got worse and it got worse. And it got to the point to where I would be stuck in the middle of the aisle, just stuck. I could not walk. I could not move. My joints was locked up. I was swollen. So I ended up going to the doctor and that they took blood and stuff like that. And that's how I figured out, that's how my doctor figured out that I was suffering from an autoimmune disease. And then just looking at what I was going through in my history, that's when it was decided that it was lupus as well that I was suffering with. Now y'all, we're gonna do a simple look cause we got a lot of talking to do. But I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use Color Rain. They have some really beautiful purples in this palette. So yeah, I think I'm going to use this palette just to start off with because I really want to do something simple a simple little glam but yeah back to what I was saying um so that's when I learned that you know I was suffering with lupus and I end up stopped working I was gonna have to stop working anyways because um it got really bad like it got really really bad and um come to find out i stopped working around the same age my mom stopped working um i had start figuring out all these things around the same age my mom had got diagnosed and everything like that these are things i didn't even know until i was in that moment until they were telling me hey this is what you're going through and i'm still going through it 
Um, it's not easy doing what I do as far as makeup wise because sitting here too long or um, even that's why I slowed up on doing my creative looks because it's, it's not as easy, but I don't want it to dictate what I do, how I can do it. So I still push through and I push through in pain a lot, but we get it done. But let's get into this look, y'all. Okay, you guys, I know we said we was going to do simple, right? This is simple. <laughs> but I blended out my concealer with this um, brush from the Dragon set from Moda. And this is the blender brush. So I just, you know, blended her out with that. But yeah, I went ahead and did one eye because talking about lupus is very touchy for me. And I have to, you know, get my mind together, y'all. But this is what I came up with. I haven't put any jewels down here yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to just leave it like this. Or I'm going to put a wing on it because your girl love a wing if y'all know nothing about me. Know that I rocks with a wing. Every time. <laughs> But yes, let's get back into this conversation, y'all. Okay, as I was saying, everybody suffers with lupus differently. Um, it attacks, it can attack any organ, any organ. It's like your body attacking itself. So um, that's why you you find people with so many different um, different ways they go through. Because with me, like you, you can suffer with anemia. Um, I have low blood all the time. I have chronic anemia. And that's because of lupus. Um, I also have some some heart issues. That's because of lupus. At times, um, my hair falls out. That's because of lupus. So it's just basically your body attacking itself. And... It's nothing you can do about it. Like a lot of people with lupus, they look totally normal. And that's where the problem comes in with people like judging or saying certain things. It's like, oh, you don't look sick. Well, <laughs> just because I don't look it don't mean I don't feel it. <laughs> don't mean I'm not going through constantly, you know. Um, I might not, you might not see me with... Um, the, what they call the butterfly rash in my face, but I am suffering from it. And, um, like people suffer with their kidneys and their livers and it, it can get really, really bad. And people do pass away from it. Um, because like it's so much, and then it's hard to diagnose because it takes on all these different forms of different diseases you know so it's hard to say like oh okay this is lupus is is not an easy thing but um i just would like people to like know that just because i may look normal or i may look like or seem like i'm having a good day does not mean i am and um i suffer every day every day in my body in some kind of way I suffer and um I just would like people to be more sensitive to, sensitive to other people and what they might be going through even if you don't know they're going through it like if you treated people with kindness and love you wouldn't have to know their daily struggles because you're already being that person you're already being the person that you need to be towards other people so yeah but y'all, let's get into this look. I'm going to be using the coloring um, palette like I showed y'all just a while ago. It has some beautiful purples in it that I'm using. And I'm using my almond base. And I'll be using some little bedazzles that you can get from like Amazon. But yes, let's get into it y'all. Okay, guys, I'm going to be going in with this dark purple called Perp Smurf. <laughs> That's cute. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go in with this and put this in my crease area. And 
but um, yes, this is not my first year trying to bring awareness to lupus. Um, I skipped a year just because it do gets hard to talk about it because I have several people in my family that suffer from it. And it also just reminds me of my sister and her battle. And plus y'all, this is her favorite color. <laughs> She loved her some purple. So it just, it got a lot of emotions hooked to it. So if I seem like I'm everywhere, it's because I'm everywhere. <laughs> My mind is just everywhere right now. But um, I will be putting up a question. Um, like if y'all want to know any questions, um, and I'll try to answer them. I will be putting that up in my Instagram story soon. Um, I posted one today. But yeah, I'm going to post it again just so I can collect enough questions. Because I don't want to just be sitting here rambling, y'all. I want to really give out real information to like help get an understanding of what some of us may be going through. And, um, yeah, like, I want it to be like real information. I could sit up and tell y'all about my struggles all day. All day of what I go through and how I've had some people treat me because they may think that, oh, you're just over exaggerating. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, you look fine. I can sit up and tell y'all that all day. I deal with it on a daily basis. Sometimes feel like a daily basis. But yeah, I want to give y'all some real deal information. Okay, y'all, we got the dark purple in there. Y'all see her. She is pigmented. So make sure y'all go check out Color Rain. Cause she has a beautiful palette. This one is called, I don't even think I gave y'all a name. Hold on. This is called Vivid Press Pigments and Shadows. So I'm taking that some of these are pigments and some of these are shadows. But I'm not going to lie. All of them look like pigments to me. They're so pigmented. So make sure y'all pick up this, this palette. Okay, y'all. So let's get into these other colors okay uh the next color i'm gonna take is called vibes is this color right here it's just a little bit lighter than that one i'm just gonna swirl our brush in there and we're just gonna tap that in not going up too far just make sure you overlay your colors so you can get you a nice blend and it won't be choppy Okay, y'all, uh, talking and doing this is harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so if I get quiet, just watch me work. Watch me blend. <laughs> okay, y'all, uh, the next color I'm going to take is called Cute. <laughs> it's a cute little lavender color. And we're going to put her at the top. Just to blend everything. Oopsie. I don't know why I did that. This is why you want to try to tap your colors in when they're like this. Because this is very pigmented. And it has like fallout a little bit. So make sure you kind of like tap it in. Versus trying to swipe it. Because then you'll get fallout everywhere. And could possibly, you know, mess up. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to just tap these colors in. And they do make a beautiful blend. And, you know, you can always, like I tell you all the time, go back and forth into your colors until you get the blend that you want to see. 
I'm going to tap back into these darker shades. I'm just going to tap that. It does not matter about it coming down too far because, of course, we're going to cut the crease. So, um, yeah, and you want to get a little bit of that purple right there in that outer corner because the way we're going to cut it, it's going to kind of be like an oval. Okay, you guys, and by the way, this is a small eye sh um, shader brush. I I would have to look up what kit this came out of, but yes, this is also Moda. So make sure y'all use my code for all the brushes used. All of them will be Moda. Um, so use code SHUG and get your discount today because, baby, they got a brush for everything. Everything. Okay, y'all, we're going to go into this Blend Buddies Blends palette. And I'm going into it for the black. This palette is gorgeous. Do y'all see the colors? Come on now. This is a beautiful palette. So make sure you check them out at Blend Bunny. This is the front of it. Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And this um, palette is called Blends. And so I'm going to take the black. It's called Nevermore. And I'm going to use this brush. This brush is out of the dragon kit that i love so much it's a six piece dragon um kit and this is the smudger and i'm going to use it to put this black on and like i said it does not matter if you come too far down on the eye we're definitely going to clean it up. You just don't want to go too far up. You can go too far down, but not too far up. Because this is black, baby, and, and she will take over. Because this is a very pigmented black. So I'm just barely, like, touching into it. Because I don't want to get too crazy with it, y'all. Black is a very strong color. black girl magic but um <laughs> let me stop acting up y'all yeah you want to just blend this black in and we're gonna go back over this black as well to like mute it just a little bit to blend in with the darker purple a little better Okay, now going back in with perps, perp, smurf. <laughs> yeah, like, I be trying. But you know your girl is very much countrified. And we gonna say some things that's wrong. <laughs> but I'm just taking that darker purple and just literally laying it on top of that black. I feel like it, it gives you like that seamless blend because black can give you that harsh line and you just kind of want everything to be seamless so believe me the purple is not going to take away the black <laughs> it's black it's not going to take it away it's not going to fade it out so putting the purple on top is definitely not going to hurt it so just put that up there And just go back also you can go back into your lighter colors just to make sure everything is is blending like it's it need to be and take as long as you need you guys because blending can be easy with with practice but it's it take patience and it take a little time so don't rush it because rushing the blend 
will definitely get you like not seamless like you'll be choppy so just take your time take your time okay let me stop and before i cut this crease and talk a little bit more about my situation y'all i know i'm probably like like i said i'm everywhere but um i'm like trying to tell y'all without trying to be like a too much information situation <laughs> but um yeah just like i said i struggle a lot um a lot of the times like when i first started it's because when I first started makeup, I was like a boatman, like, cause it was something I wanted to do. Um, it just reminded me of my sister and then I grew to really love it. So I was just like, yes, let me do all these amazing looks. And I started off fine because even in that moment, like I wasn't at my worst moment yet. So like, I was like dealing with the pains and the joint pains and Feeling a little tired here and there, but I was like putting out all this amazing artwork, um, just really like flowing in what I love to do. But now it has come to a point now to where I get tired quicker. Um, I hurt a whole lot more. <laughs> um, I just I have zero energy, y'all. If I walk from my room to my front door. I tell you, I feel like I done walked at least 10 miles. Um, just to sit here and try to do YouTubes. I don't I don't know why I want to tackle YouTubes. Maybe it's because it's something my body keeps trying to tell me that I can't do. And I'm just like, I could do whatever I want to do. <laughs> like, you're not going to tell me what to do. So, in my head, I'm like, I can do this. And... Even with the few videos that I've put out, it has been a really hard task for me. And it's not that um, I don't want to be consistent. It's not that. It's the work that it takes for me to be consistent is the problem. And I hate that because, like, I want to conquer everything. I want to work for companies. I want to do paid content. It's just I want to do all these things and... Sometimes, especially some days when it's really bad and I can't lift my head off the pillow, my body is like, ma'am, slow it down. <laughs> we ain't there yet. So, um, yeah, like, your girl be out here trying to just get her done, like, regardless of how I feel. Like, today was a bad day, but I got up anyways and I want to do this look for y'all that I hope y'all are enjoying. <laughs> and yeah like let me cut this crease for y'all and we'll do a little bit more talking here and there I'm just trying to pace myself because like I said my energy could be there and then in a second and I have come too far with this look to have to wipe it off so let, let's get into cut crease cut crease okay you guys so I'm going to use my favorite this is Garnier I'm thinking I'm saying it right. Skin Active Marcella Cleansing Water. Like, um, I saw a friend, like, I've been using this for, like, ever since I started my makeup game. But I saw a friend of mine put this in a spray bottle and spray her face down and take her makeup off. I was like, that's, that's so smart. Why didn't I think of that? So now I spray my um, face down and take my makeup off. Like, if I don't got no lot of glitter or nothing on my face because I hate for glitter to spread across my face but yes this is really good and i'm going to use this q-tip and these cute little q-tips i found at um walmart i don't know if y'all can see them they're flat and kind of rounded but um it just it just gets that cut crease right you know and then it got the end where you can kind of sharpen it up if you want to but yeah let's get into it y'all so I'm just going to take it and kind of like rub it against the crease of my eye. Yeah, I am not the one that could rub this off and get the, the perfect crease. 
and just start. No, I'm not that girl. But I do like to wipe off this excess so my cut crease can be a lot sharper and not too cakey with product. And I'm not trying to go all the way over because as you see how this is cut, it's kind of like um, a oval versus how I usually cut my crease. And that happened by accident and I just thought it was cute, y'all. So we're going to try, we going to try to match the other side. Cross your fingers. Okay, y'all, let's get into cutting this crease. Um, I think I've showed y'all this brush in a previous video. It's really just a brush that I got with a paint palette off of Amazon. And I just thought that it was like really thin and I thought it would be great for like cutting your crease. So I put some of my almond base on the back of my hand as I usually do. And I'm just going to tap this brush in here. And we're going to get to it, y'all. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try not to cut cut it off. I'm going to try to do the full cut crease on a video. But, y'all, it takes so long. I be holding my breath. It's just, it's a lot. So, we're going to try this. We're going to try this. But if, if y'all would want me to do like a separate video on certain things like brows or cut increases or, you know, just separate topics, I can do that. Just let me know. Talk to your girl. Talk to me in the comments. Like the videos. Interact with me. Because I'm really out here trying, y'all. Okay, y'all, I lied. <laughs> I'll be back after I cut this crease. But I'm for real about if you want me to do a video, then I'll do a video on just cutting creases because it, it, it takes a, a while. But I just don't want to take all that time trying to do it in this video when it's probably already going to be pretty lengthy. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you would like topics on certain things, videos, on certain topics, I mean, I can do that. Okay, y'all. So we got the crease cut. I think we're pretty close. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Y'all see my Mickey back there. But um, we're going to go back into the black, the Nevermore out of the Blends palette from Blend Bunnies. And we're going to take, what's this? The point liner. This is their, um, oh, I forgot the name of this kit, but it comes in several different colors, but I'll name it in the description. But yes, we're going to use this. It got like a small little point to it. We're going to use this and I'll show y'all what I'm going to do. So we're not going to go all the way up to our cut crease. We're going to come right here like you're going to leave a space, a generous amount of space in between the top and then the one you're creating. I don't know. I hope y'all can see that. And take your time. Because you want to make sure. And even if you uh, mess up, you can go with your concealer brush and just kind of like add it back in there so it can be sharp. 
Yeah, we're just gonna keep dapping into this black dapping. <laughs> we're gonna keep dabbing back into this black and putting it on. I'm trying to just go lightly because as I told y'all, black will quickly take over a look. And you can always add more. That's not taken away from this palette, y'all. This palette is very pigmented. That's why I'm taking my time with it. So please do not feel like, oh, the palette is not um, pigmented. That's why it's looking a little faded. No, it's just that I'm not, you know, really getting into that because, like I said, black will take over. <laughs> So we're going to do this, and we're going to do this in each corner. We're going to do it over here as well. Leave a space. Leave a space in between. And again, if you if you feel like you came over too much, you could just take that concealer brush and fix fix your line. Okay, you guys. So we got our black laid down, and we're gonna go back into our color rain palette with the darkest purple, and like we laid it on top for this top part, like we laid the um, the purple on top of the black. We're gonna do that again. We're just gonna put the purple directly on top of the black because again, the purple will not take away the black. It's not gonna do it. So it's perfectly fine to just lay it right on top. We're trying to get our halo effect now. So we're going to do this on both ends. So we're just going to keep tapping that color into it until we're satisfied. I see where I need to bring that black over a little bit right here. Maybe I'm gonna put a little bit more black on there. Just to bring it over a little bit more. Not too much, just a little bit. And you don't want to take your dark purple over too much because we want that light part to land like right there in that middle. So you want to keep it as much as possible over here with the black. Okay, you guys. So we're going to take Vibes. That's the next shade, lighter shade. And we're just going to lay that. We'll tap it. I like to tap. Y'all know I like to tap to get my color payoff. So I'm going to tap that onto that, the edge of that um, darker purple. And you don't need much as you see because we're working in a small space. And you just want that little, that little bit of a, you know, how you kind of say it. <laughs> Y'all probably going to laugh at me when I say it. But I'm going to just say that variation of color. That's what I'm going to say. And then we're going to take this detail brush. Um, it's a motor brush. And we're going to tap into Cute. And we're going to put her right in the middle. And we're going to take it 
right up to the edge of this top cut crease where we was trying to first keep that space we're just going to put it all the way up to there just in that spot Yeah, and we're gonna go back through our colors and and layer them the way we want just to get you know that blend okay you guys so I'm going to use this brush remember I told y'all motor brushes are multi-use and you can use them for whatever works for you and this is supposed to be for your lips it's a precision lip brush but i'm going to use it to put some of this glitter glue from nyx i'm gonna put that right in the center where we put our lightest color at i'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush you don't need much, just a little bit. And you're going to put that right in the center, all the way up, remember, to that top cre um, cut crease. And we're going to take a shimmer from... Another one of my favorite palettes, this is What's Up Beauty, and this is, <laughs> I'm not going to try to say this name, but this is the name of the palette. Um, but yes, it's so beautiful. And I'm going to take <laughs> the shade, the Shimmer Crystal, <laughs> and that's this one right here, it's so pretty. I'm going to take that shade to put in the, the middle of that, where that glue is. And it's gonna help it to stay in place. It's gonna stick it right in place. Stick it right in place. It's so pretty. Um, all the shimmers in this palette is beautiful. They're all very beautiful, very pigmented. So make sure y'all go check, um, check out What's Up Beauty because they have another palette too called, um, Desert Monsoon. So check them out. And these little palettes are pigmented. You're going to get very good color payoff. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to take um, the Super Strip Lash Adhesive. I got this from Shop Miss A. This is some really good lash glue. I use it for my lashes, but I also use it for like rhinestone placement. So that's what we're about to use with these rhinestones that you can get on Amazon. And I'm going to use the lavender ones right here. And I'm also going to use this rhinestone um, picker, I guess you want to call it, to pick these up. But first, we're just going to start by getting a little of this lash glue and putting it right in the empty space of our eye look. All the way up to where the shimmer is. I like to do one side at a time just so you won't you know move too fast and mess something up so we're gonna pick up our rhinestone and we're gonna place one right there and just give it a little space in between each one I 
thought I should have went a little farther down, but it's okay. And I'm going to take it all the way up to the shimmer. to the shimmer and then we're gonna do the other side the same way I'm still trying to debate if I'm gonna put a wing y'all it takes a lot out of me not to put a wing <laughs> but I'm gonna see after I put these on You're not putting like a lot of glue, just a thin layer. It don't take much. These are baby, these are baby um, rhinestones, so it don't take much to stick them on. I'll probably add a little bit more black right there to close that gap in. Kind of left too much of a gap. Now, these cut creases are probably not perfect, but long as we close, we close. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is how I look. I decided it was very hard to not go for the wing because I feel like the eye looks very beautiful without the wing um we're just gonna pop our lashes on without drawing a wing but um this is how i look and i'm gonna go and finish the rest of my face and then i'm gonna be back and we can just wrap up a little bit of the talk when it comes like versus to me and how i have experienced lupus so yes i'll be back Okay, you guys, this is my finished look. I paired it with um, Kiss. What's these are matte black um, from their Lash Couture line. And this lip is Beauty Bakery Lip Whip. And this is Midnight Truffles. So all the like all the stuff that i use on my face i'll make sure this time to list <laughs> list in the description and i said it wrong last time but these contacts came from ttdi i meaning in eye um ttdi and these are um in the shade sin gray and you can use my discount code for that. It's Makeup by Shug. As always, I'll have all my discount codes in the description box. So if y'all want some beautiful brushes or you want some food cosmetics or these contacts, use my code, y'all. We never pay full price, ladies. Ladies and gents, we do not pay full price for anything. <laughs> but um, I really enjoy doing this look and i hope y'all stay for the whole lupus awareness um series i probably won't be doing too many looks but i do want to bring awareness and i will ask y'all questions anything y'all will want to know just drop them in my comments or go to my instagram and it should be in my stories but um yes yeah, just it is a daily struggle living with lupus but you can make it it's not a death sentence and you still can be who you was put on this earth to be and that's what i'm trying to do y'all I'm, I'm still trying to be me in the midst of it all but i'll see you guys later and yeah next look mm -hmm.